I'm an electrical engineer by profession. And uh, my specialty currently is the information communication sciences, but with a particular focus on the agriculture, developing solutions for agriculture sector. The work that I'm currently doing and uh, I've received the grant from OWSD is uh, to develop an automated tool to, for poultry diseases diagnostics. And this model that I will develop using deep learning will be deployed on smartphones. When I started um, uh, venturing into this research, I had uh, to put myself into the foot of the poultry farmers. So I had to be a poultry farmer myself, uh, make sure the solution works at my farm, and it even has transformed the way I approach farmers because I now understand the stresses and the challenges they go through. I really see this tool, once uh, completed, will enable poultry farmers to manage their poultry health. If they are able to detect early on the diseases, the, it will uh, avail them the problem of losing their flock to diseases. Therefore, they will increase their productivity. I currently uh, foresee to cover poultry farmers in Arusha, uh, Kilimanjaro and Manyara region, which is the northern uh, northeast region of Tanzania and uh, like for Arusha alone I have uh, uh, a target of reaching up to 300 uh, poultry farmers. With, uh, in the task of uh, improving the poultry health, the data that we, we work with is uh, FECO samples and uh, images. And um, whenever I visit a poultry farmer, I am accompanied by the veterinary officer. And normally this vet officer is the one saving those poultry farmers in the area. We take a photo of the poultry uh, of the fecal sample. We take an image using a mobile phone. We collect that sample on, uh, uh, on a, such, a special sachet that uh, we're going to, to do the testing in the lab to confirm uh, the kind of disease or whether that particular sample is healthy. Farmers do get surprised that uh, I'm a researcher in the first place and uh, a woman doing science. So it takes a bit of time to, to make them comfortable that I'm actually the one uh, uh, developing the solution. Once this model is deployed on mobile phone and the, a poultry farmer has this mobile application, they will use this mobile app to take snap a photo of the FECO sample and then the, the, that application will tell them whether it has uh, coccidiosis or it is healthy. It saves time because conventional methods currently uh, is, is done to test whether it is Newcastle or coccidiosis is done by culturing in the lab. And culturing takes about a week to get results. When I won the grant, I was very, very grateful because the reagents to conduct the PCR test was a great bottleneck. So I'm going to use uh, almost half of this grant uh, to conduct the, the, the PCR test to label properly the fecal samples. This is a multidisciplinary work. I'm working with a group of uh, the two vet officers 
and uh, I'm also working with the molecular biologist in the life science in the molecular biology lab at our university and also I have two students I'm very glad the grant has enabled me to recruit uh, two students one one st master student will be doing the work of developing the model uh, using deep learning her background is information and communication sciences and the, the other student uh, Martha she will be working in developing the mobile application for the poultry records management. And uh, not only will, uh, will the app be collecting data, enabling farmers to collect the data, but we want the app to be able to provide them with advice on what they should do based on, on basis of their records. research work I'm doing, I really foresee it being able to be replicated in other countries, especially developing countries with the same, uh, uh, with the same infrastructure. Everyone has access to, to mobile phones. Up to now 80% of the populations have mobile phones. So if you can, it, it is really now the infrastructure to drive solutions to end users. And that now that is what we as researchers are working on to develop solutions that will address real life problems of these uh, uh, end users. Mm -hmm.